Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about a big time player of the month SBC that we are going to be seeing this week in FIFA 21, and that is League One Uber Eats Player of the Month. And we have three big boy choices that it could be from the month of February. It's going to be released this week, either on Tuesday or either on Thursday, in my opinion, will be the two days that it could be released. And we are looking at a potential Mbappe, Ben Yedder, or Depay player of the month SBC. Now, of course, the League One player of the month, I, I even, I thought twice about making this video, man, because the League One player of the month is all over the place, man. Every single time there's a player that we think is going to win, somehow the vote is drastically different than what we would have ever expected, and somebody random wins. Think about last month, we had Bulaya, Neymar, and Voland in the vote. Voland had like some of the best stats of the month in League 1. He still didn't win. This Bulaya card won uh, in the month of January. So he won the January Player of the Month released in February. Now here we are again in February, but this time we have three big boy options for this uh, February Player of the Month that is going to be released later this week. We've got Mbappe, Ben Yedder, and Memphis Depay. And boy, oh boy, do these have some potentially sick-looking cards for SBCs that could come out this week. And that's why I'm making this video, because I think all these guys have plenty of special cards that could see some market movements as we get closer towards that SBC, maybe a little bit of selling just in case. And depending on how much the SBC is priced at, whoever wins... It could be a big boy SBC, right? We just had a player of the month, Messi, that a lot of people are completing. But Mbappe is one of the most cracked cards in this game. Everybody loves even his gold card, right? This is one of the most used cards with games, 24 million games played on Mbappe uh, in FIFA. It's insane, right? So I want to talk about the potential of that SBC and what that would mean for this game. Because that would be probably closer to an endgame card. Not, not quite endgame. But if they juice the player of the month league on like they did Messi's player of the month just last week, then there's potential here for a pretty big SBC. So let's talk about it. Who could realistically win? Could we see an Mbappe SBC? Now, on this nice website here, the UNFP website where you vote for the league one, obviously voting is closed. Um, and we'll look at the stats here, right? Depay had three goals, one assist on the month. And I believe his team, uh, they went three one or two one and ones they had two they had two wins one draw and one loss during the month of february now let's go to mbappe and psg he had four goals no assist a couple more minutes played uh they had one two three four wins on the month sorry they went three wins and one loss on the month they did lose to uh to a team during the month of February. Ben Yedder had four goals no assist and his team Monaco went one draw one win two wins and a loss. So two wins, one draw, one loss for Monaco. So honestly, when I look at this, if it's just based off again on goals, which usually when we look at the Premier League play of the month, it's mostly based off goals. Um, it's a four to four goal tie between Ben Yedder and Mbappe. So that right away makes me lean towards either Mbappe or Ben Yedder. And if we look at this technically, um, I would say that probably PSG played a little bit better during the month of February. Now, I don't know if they, they take into account um, you know, minutes played at all, 448 minutes played for Mbappe, Ben Yedder had 340, and Memphis Depay only had had 430. So I don't know if that's a factor at all, but to me, it looks like Mbappe is a front runner and probably could win this player of the month. But honestly, again, with League One, I don't know what the percentage fan vote is here. I think the fan vote has a pretty high percent for League One. It's either like 30 or 50 percent. That makes a big difference. It makes a huge, huge difference. And that makes this, this Player of the Month award really every single month. We have no idea who it's going to be. Now, of course, all these guys would look sick with upgraded items in foot. But let's take it one at a time, right? Let's take a look at Mbappe. So right now in FIFA, if Mbappe were to get a Player of the Month SBC, he, his highest rated performance-based special card in this game is this 91 Mbappe. Now, you're like, whoa, what about the 91 Record breaker, right? Aren't those like, you know, these are two 91 rated cards that Mbappe has in this game and he has the 97 team of the year. Now, I think if they did drop an Mbappe player of the month, it would kind of be, it would be 92 rated. They'd give him a plus one. They would probably boost him up based off of this card's stats because this was a promo card that had nothing to do with his accolades from this year and it was a special shooting boost, right? For his, um, 
record-breaking performance he had earlier that he got a card for, right? So this card is probably the one that you would see the upgrade be based off of, this Champions League man of the match. Now, of course, this one, I would assume they would make Mbappe's player of the month card a center forward, but again, they can change positions as we saw with Messi. So they could make it a left wing. I'm not sure where Mbappe played for the month of February mostly, um, but I'm guessing it would be a center forward slash striker, not a center forward, a striker card, just like his gold item. So this card right here, if we give a plus one boost to it, we're probably looking at 98. But if they boost this card like they boosted Messi, we could be looking at a 99 pace Mbappe in an SBC. If they give him plus twos, 99 pace, eight, a 90 shooting, 82 passing, 94 dribbling, and almost 80 physical for this Mbappe card. So of course, if you have 99 pace and 90 shooting, that is going to be an end game card for a lot of people. And they're probably going to go out and do this SBC depending on what the price is. Now let's talk about price, right? Because this man of the match Mbappe is about 1.9 mil, pretty rare in the market. He's been chilling around the 1.8 to 1.9 range the past couple of days. Now we did this same sort of concept when we looked at Messi when his player of the month dropped too, right? We looked at this card right here. Uh, we looked at this card, the team of the group stage. We said, hey, this guy, when the Messi SBC dropped, was about right here, about 1.6, 1.5 mil. We were like, all right, so the SBC is probably going to be a little bit more expensive than that. Well, EA went out and dropped a madness right away. They dropped this when SBC fodder was so expensive, but it was only 2 million coins. Of course, SBC fodder dropped off so much. This went down to about 1.6 million coins flat. Now it's back up to 1.8. So right now, if you look at where fodder is at in this game, now, of course, I'm not sure where it's going to be on Thursday, but it's starting to rise back up with the, the Prime Icon pack. And we have more SBCs out like Prime Icon Moments cards that people are starting to craft and to do. And there's also not a lot to do in FIFA this week. And if there's not a lot to do, people will go and do SBCs because they're always out in the game. So fodder is probably going to keep continue on rising a little bit, not a crazy amount. But I think if you're EA Sports, you know, you probably want to make this Mbappe. You know that Mbappe is so, so good in this game, right? They know that Messi, yeah, Messi is a very popular card, but uh, he does not in-game meta-wise play as good as what this Mbappe card does. So in my opinion, I think if EA dropped a play of the month Mbappe SBC, you're going to be looking at 2.25 to 2.5 million coins, right? Two and a quarter, two and a half mil. And, you know, it's going to be a bit pricey, but that at a price, a 92 rated striker card, if it is a striker, because that'd be a lot easier for people, I think, to put in teams with position changing and stuff. I think people would go after that Mbappe at two to two and a half mil, because if you think about another Mbappe special card, if they make him at a 92, if they make him a striker, this card right here is 1.8 mil. I think an Mbappe Inform 92 rated striker card with plus two boosts would probably be around 2.5 to 2.7 mil, depending on what the card is, how rare it is and stuff like that. So I would expect Mbappe's SBC, since they've been pricing player of the months decently well this year, to be somewhere around the two, 2.5 range, if I had to take a guess. Now, I think that is in a range where a decent amount of people would be interested in completing that SBC. Uh, let me know down below what you guys would think about that if that is where they price the SBC. Would you be willing to craft that over like maybe a week or two time period and then, um, you know, have that Mbappe in your team for the rest of the year? Because I think that's what people like. Like, I, okay, Mbappe is going to be getting a team of the season card most likely, but that's not going to be for like two, two and a half months. So I could get this card now as a 92 and I have it untradeable for 2 million coins right now in my team for the rest of the year. So that's one interesting thing that I would see. And of course, just like we saw with this Messi card, if they make Mbappe's SBC relatively cheap, quote unquote, you're going to see his other special cards drop off. Like we saw the 95 Messi has dropped off, you know, three, 400,000 coins from where he was. He was about 1. mil post team of the year in February. And now he's down to 1.3. Now, of course, his inform was like a million coins as well. That's the, now down to 800k. So I think you would see a bit of penny selling on Mbappe's um, record breaker, potentially. The only thing that the record breaker Mbappe has that you might, um, this card might retain its value a little bit, depending on what they do with the boost. Uh, if, if, if the player of the month 92 only has 89 shooting and doesn't have 90, then I think this card will retain a little bit of its value. But this might be the one right here where you look at and say, okay, this is 2.5 mil. He's got 90 shooting. If they give him 99 pace and 90 shooting, they could technically make that SBC like 2.7 million coins because, you know, I think that's where a 92 Mbappe would be on the market. But this card, I think, has the biggest potential to drop if they were to release 
a 92 player of the month Mbappe. So that's a lot of talk about Mbappe. Let's talk about Depay and Ben Yedder because both of these guys seem to be even in the running to win this SBC as well. Now, Depay has had two informs this year, three informs, sorry. And obviously this moments SBC that a lot of people did, five-star skills, three-star weak foot, and uh, Dutch links, right? So you can link this guy to a lot of different players in FIFA. Of course, a lot of people have icons now in their teams as well. This guy, if you give him a plus one, maybe some in-game plus twos, we're going into the 90s on a lot of stats in this card. And this might be one of like the most insane 500K to 750,000 coin SBCs, depending on how much it is. This moment's SBC, I believe was like 250K when it was out. Sorry, it was way less than that. It was 160, 170,000 coins. Now, if they give him an 89 rated card and they give him like 91 pace, if they give him 89 shot, 90 passing, 89 dribbling, I mean, this guy is already elite in so many different stat categories. That's going to push his finishing up towards 90. He's going to have 90 acceleration, upper to mid to upper 80s agility and balance. He's going to move him over um, into the, where's his composure? 80. 485 composure possibly into the 90s for ball control and dribbling i mean this card's going to look insane with a plus one boost um as a player of the month as well i think a lot of people might be rooting for depai because this might be the cheapest out of or will be the cheapest out of all the player of the months if he does end up winning so if this sbc comes out and they give him a nice plus one with some good boosts a lot of people will do that right a lot of people will do that and since his cards are so cheap ea might price this at like 500k and you have an insane, insane card. And imagine what this guy's team this season is going to look like. That's going to be crazy. But I feel like he's still the least hyped to win. And you'll see maybe the least amount of market movement if he does win. Now let's talk Ben Yedder, right? Because this is another potential winner. I think if I don't think they skip over the headliner cards because this is, yes, a performance-based upgrade. Um, I guess I'd have to look at Bruno Fernandez. I don't remember if Bruno got the player of the month 91 before he got this headliner card um, because I'm, yeah, the headliner card does not get upgraded for player of the months, uh, only for informs and like man of the matches and stuff. So um, I think that you would have this Wissam Ben Yedder, his player of the month would be an 88. I think it would be an 88, but I'm also not sure. It could be a 90. Now, if they give him a 90 player of the month, if they give him the big juice and jump over this card, I, I don't think they will. I think it'll be an 88, but uh, imagine this guy with like 91 pace, 91 shooting, 93 or four dribbling, you know, 88 passing. That'd be stupid, right? And then they would make that SPC probably like 1.7, maybe even 2 million coins. But I think for even an 88 Ben Yedder, they could, they could do something very interesting here because 87 Ben Yedder is 318K and 89 Ben Yedder is 1.2 mil. That's, you know, that's a pretty big range. If they made an 88 Ben Yedder and they made that SPC 750,000 coins, I know it's not a live card, um, but if you remember Player of the Month Ben Yedder from last year in uh, FIFA 20, this card was cracked. It was about a 500,000 coin SBC, and a lot of people did it. And if you look at the stats compared to what this headliner is, it's actually pretty comparable, right? 89, 89, 84, 90, 45, 67 on last year's card. You know, he's a little bit higher passing, a little bit higher dribbling this year, and more physical already. You know, if they release basically the same card this year as an 88, and they make it 500k. I mean, that's going to be an SBC that a lot of people do because right now this 87 rated inform is valued at 318k. So all I'm saying is the potential of this week for an SBC that could be good is is really high, right? Whether it's Mbappe, that'd be the most expensive. Benyetta probably in the middle, and then Depay probably on the cheaper end. Um, you're going to have an SBC that a decent amount of people in FIFA are going to be interested in doing. Now, can you invest for it? Honestly, no, right? I think that SBC fodder is just high enough right now. I don't want to really invest in any of that because with investing for player of the month really doesn't work anymore. It really doesn't because um, there's just not as much hype for those cards as there was. Now, one thing I would say is if this is coming out on Thursday, which is I, I expect this to drop on Thursday this week. One thing you would want to look out for since they're requiring a lot of informs as a part of Player of the Month SBCs, I believe. Let me take a look at Messi just to confirm that because he's got a decent amount of squads in the Messi Player of the Month. I believe that a couple of these squads require informs. Yeah, Team of the Week, Team of the Week, Team of the Week. Uh, okay, so for the lower rated squads, maybe like for 86s and below, they're requiring some Team of the Weeks. Whatever Team of the Week comes out this week on Wednesday, if the SBC drops after that, which I think it should, keep an eye on during rewards, so right before Thursday content drop, the rewards that happen before that in the morning, 
watch out for the team of the week cards that are 83, 84 rated team of the weeks that are in that team of the week that gets supplied during rewards that they're down cheap at like, you know, 83 rated team of week cards. We take a look at those at like 19 to 20,000 coins, depending on links. And then 84 is maybe like just a little over 20 K take a look at those. Cause if the SBC is good value, that would be the part of the market that I think would be the best for possible investing. And honestly, if you make that investment anyway, there's going to be more SBCs that come out that require informs because they're really requiring informs this year. And this week's team of the week, at least before Friday with lightning rounds, if we do get a promo, won't be supplied that much, only at rewards. So it could be a potential nice uptick on the inform market. I know that stuff is already up. That's why I'm saying watch for the new cards that come out. If they get packed a little bit, there should be UEFA marquee matchups on Wednesday because we have Champions League this week. That will supply the new team of the week a little bit unless people save those packs. Uh, some people won't be able to. So you'll still see a decent drop on those. That might be like an investment that I would look out for. But mostly on the market, I would just watch for potential panic selling of those special cards of the player who wins and um, maybe links as well. Like if Ben Yedder wins, you know, I don't know what cards you would see rise up because of that, but maybe that Diada card, right? This Diada, the new what if uh, Diada is very, very hyped up. He's got a lot of pace. This might be a card that you honestly see rise a little bit as we get into the week, just purely off of hype that he could get a link to uh, that brand new player of the month, Ben Yedder, if he would win. So these two guys up front of Foot Champs team would be so sweaty. So who, whoever wins this week, unless it's Depay, it's looking pretty sweaty, right? Another sweaty SBC player is going to be added to the game, whether that is Ben Yedder or Mbappe, and then Depay would be pretty cool. So I honestly think with how popular Mbappe is, I hope Mbappe wins, right? I feel like I want to guess this and get it right. I think Mbappe is going to win. Of course, he's got the hype. He's a star. He had one of the best months out of the three nominated players, um, and I think he does win. But one last I guess message on this is always check the UNFP Twitter account. It's at UNFP, I believe. It's a French account. They are usually the ones that tweet it out right away. And they always use this hashtag trophies UNFP. So definitely take a look for this uh, on, I think it's gonna be Thursday. Either Tuesday or on Thursday is when this should be dropping. So just keep an eye on this. But it's another big time potential play of the month dropping in a, in FIFA 21. We just had Messi. We might now have Mbappe. So that's why I wanted to make this video today because this is big time, right? Big SBC coming out. A lot of people might be interested in getting a player of the month Mbappe in their squad they could use for the rest of the year if it is at a cheap enough price. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.